King Richard III is planning for the future and for his succession after receiving the diagnosis from his physician that he is infirm. Looking at his vassals, he fears they may be a rebellion after he passes and when his grandson takes the throne, as he currently has some powerful vassals who are not on the council. So while he has a royal architect to help him construct quickly, he's gonna take the time to construct his crown smithies increase his military strength, boost up his heavy infantry, and give him a nice little 6% discount in men-at-arms maintenance. And at this time, he's also gonna increase his armored footmen to two. They have a nice plus 22 additional damage as it is. Okay, so now we have no treasury, but we made a necessary purchase. We gained a rival. She languished in our prison of House Ivar. We're not gonna worry about that at the moment. Ooh, and the artifacts... Okay, so we'll see our army increase. Let's go ahead and, um, it's too much, so we'll go ahead and destroy it. Get 80 gold, help recover some of the cost. And this one with a nice 10% gain uh, for 150, that'll bring us back to zero. But it has 15 more years, so we'll actually go ahead and wait on that one. 25 more days right here, excellent. And what else can we do? Powerful vassals. We are swaying our vassal, our brother. Get a little bit higher opinion. No wars. We're not going to do no wars. Oh, demand payments. That is right. That would greatly help us. Uh, how much money does our nephew have? You don't want to do that to our nephew. Uh, our nephew, Chancellor. We'll go ahead and do that one. Our nephew, no. Our grandson, no. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to find some secrets that we can get some more hooks. Let's go here to our court, see what secrets our people are having. And we are five away. Our nephew created of independence faction in Jorvik. Wow, like that. He doesn't know. Without us, he would not have this land. Okay, independence faction. Only one person is still with the, to install our brother. Delicate affairs. Mayor has help, been of real help in the past few days, aiding me in my efforts to strengthen the realm's ties with our neighbors. He has just, he has just offered himself again to help me gain King Bragi's trust. It is so hard to find someone one can truly rely on these days. Oh, he's a good character. Maybe we should uh, think about promoting him. Uh, I shall remember your kindness. He becomes our friend. Uh, he's not worth the effort. How much stress do we have? We'll go with not worth the effort. But we, we'll pin him for something in the future in case something pops up. And our daughter has given birth. Definitely cannot pronounce that. Bendita Stefania. We'll go with that one. Much easier to pronounce for me. And remember, we are five counties away from forming the kingdom of Aquitaine and we do have a vassal who can help us get us there with this claim actually that's only four mm, so we would be close okay our brother was swayed let's go ahead and lower the speed shall we continue to sway let's let's reduce let's go let's go with this vassal over here okay our knight has improved excellent everybody is getting older king richard However, I believe there's still something going on. If there's anything, we shall find it. That was a quick seven months. Oh, that's right. We got uh, two more years in our capital. I, oh, that's Desmond, actually. Three years. We'll go three years there. We get a new diplomacy perk. Let's go groom to rule. That way our grandson can get these points. Well, everybody, actually. It's so nice. House Brian gets better. Powerful vassals, the wars. Norway, Wales no okay nice so our our duchy building has now been built and duchy of lower lorraine can we form an, an alliance show them in at once all right so the faction to install our brother has been disbanded homage mortified i would pay, wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of duke who is soon announced and ushered before me oh this is this the same one that wants an in independence. Which, uh, what a shambles. As Duke, he stumbles awkwardly, the court gasps in unison as he falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flushed with embarrassment. Uh, he gains the nickname The Graceful. Here yeah, we get it prestige, money, and renown. Uh, your oats are all that matters to me. Okay, we'll go with that one. Maybe 
someone told him that we would uh were the reason why he has these lands and is come around as his astute intellectual self and is now grateful okay oh we can ask our head of faith for gold which we definitely need 570 is a grip and something we must do <laughs> so now we can go ahead and reinvest more into our capital and i think we will get this wetlanders farm three months yep okay anglo-saxon populace and education under duress i see my court tutor foran with a flock of his students encircling him tutor what is parallelogram tutor what does it mean to make love tutor should i be blowing my flute louder or much louder foran looks up at me with sunken eyes my lord i can bear it no longer please relieve me of my position oh aren't they darling uh he gets stressed his learning is decreased by two uh, i shall buy you a trumpet go a third that would louder yet he gets 95 stress and it costs us 200 he loses the opinion but gets 30 opinion he is diligent humble and gregarious i think he was made for this 57 30 95 okay we'll go with this one and he doesn't lose learning clutch okay oh maybe i had to press play let's see oh yeah he did okay attempted murder while performing his duties as spy my spy master he's uncovered a secret held by my vassal earl he was uh, the man behind a failed murder attempt against fathood to think that he would ever stoop so low let's go ahead and um because we're just Temperate, just, and that. Leaving an impression. A uh, regular parade should suffice. Oh, it's a strong hook. The brave got in my right. Oh, look, we're the... Oh, that's right. This is that one night. Okay, we'll let it... I guess we'll let it slide. We're not in need of much money. Let's go ahead and back out. He finished the task, finding secrets so oh it says three months we'll wait those three months and if we can get 600 more prestige i want to get this uh tradition the seafarers i want to get this seafarers uh tradition it's going to increase county control of the irish cultures and it's going to increase levies maybe maybe not we'll see okay he was swayed excellent building was there uh, okay so this is for our grandson's last last uh, personality trait and it's currently just my grandson ricer has just finished a lesson held by heromel on the management of the treasury and the gold therein ricer seems to have taken the lesson to heart with a reinforced sense of justice he is constantly talking about how everyone from the highest high king to the lowest napperer plays their part in the economy of the realm a strong sense of justice will endear you to the people keeps the trade just ha <laughs> ha no boy what you need to do is bleed them dry for greedy i do not think we'll do that and emotions beget weakness child suppress them for callous and that's a hard pass we'll keep just so our grandson is craven forgiving and just It'll be a very interesting character to play as to say the least so let's continue we have a thousand an experienced fighter 49 he may pass soon, but let's see how much it'll cost. Oh, our architect. To ever think that he would stoop so low. For 56, I think that'll I think that'll be good. A faction, another faction disbanded. Let's go up here. Eight months. Because I think he has low feudal obligations towards us. Let's see what else should we we can upgrade it one more time. For the same price. We'll get plus two, decrease in cost and construction time. Okay, our court grandeur. Actually, we could boost up our head. Our, yeah, for 200, three months. Let's do that. Exchange hostages to the sensible High King Richard of Ireland. I propose we exchange my daughter Carlette and your granddaughter Annalith as hostages. It would be a great gesture of trust she becomes our hostage we will earn prestige and renown uh he will earn prestige he has a higher that house has a higher level of splendor than ours and he's an emperor and as we are a king i don't think we're gonna do that interesting 
No, I don't. We're gonna decline. The Holy Roman Empire is still going strong a hundred years into this campaign. We'll see how much longer they do. And our ally here in Spain, Castile, is half and half with the Islamic rulers, and they are at war. Tyranny. Ooh, he just became the new ruler. So the realm has split into two kingdoms, and he is currently dealing with the civil war with pretty much all of his realm. It does look like he is definitely not going to be ruling anymore, and the kingdoms will once again be united. Let us continue. Maybe we should upgrade once more, because our grandson is set to inherit the capital duchy of Wales, but that is when our wife passes, which who knows how long that will be. And it has been two years now since the start of this episode. Our nephew, grandson. No, we won't do that. Modify contracts. No, we won't do that. Okay. Let us see. Okay, we have two more years there. There. And how is our grandson developing? Okay, two more years before he gets that. Okay, there we go. The barracks have been built. So let's continue to upgrade once more. Let's get this one just a little bit more gold. 165, it's a great deal. Pneumonia for my poor daughter. Oh, man. Giving ch uh, birth to three children. Be cautious, do no more than is necessary. Um... Let's go for drastic measures. Disastrous treatment. Oh no. We all knew the risk. Okay, our Duke was swayed once more. Excellent. Ooh, our antiquarian has just passed. And our, oh, our spy master. And they are not good at that skill. So we must go with this character here. Excellent. Okay. And our sway we will continue here. Oh, look at that. Answered prayers in Jesus' name. She is no longer filled with pneumonia. Mordecai. Alright, salt wells. Excellent. Already built again. Let's slow it down just a little bit. We can hold court now. Could also build the next barony castle. But I think we'll continue to further fortify and invest in our capital county. Only a hundred gold to increase the fort level. I think we'll do that. Only a hundred gold. Okay, excellent. And let's go ahead and hold court real quick. This may be the last court that King Richard III holds. Being the first guest. A place at court. My knight Carol takes a takes a turn bending my ear before the assembled court. Glorious liege, give me the honor of protecting you from your enemies and serving at your side. I will not let you down. I suppose these jobs have to be done by somebody. Our knight, excellent prowess. You should have the job, Carol. Laughs requested. In a brief moment of silence, I see Prince George folding his arms before realizing that it's his turn to speak. Brother, he says, giving him some precious time to finalize his thoughts before continuing. Smiles and laughter are a great indicator, indicator of a lively court. Thus, I have a suggestion for someone who would make a great gesture to entertain us, who could come to visit. My liege, if I may, Mayor Maria speaks up from the sidelines. A gesture will ruin the sophisticated air of this court and replaces its refinement with crude, infantile humor. If uh, Mayor Maria doesn't like to laugh, we should make her laugh a bowl. Ooh. Alrighty, Prince George, our brother and steward. This is not a peasant's market. A jester has no place in this court. We get Aster... Astery Court. This character is known... Okay. Maria, Prince George... Of Ireland loses 20 opinion. Hmm. She becomes our court jester. She loses 40 opinion of us. And she is a intricate web weaver. Which she may plot against us after doing so. He has 100% opinion. And we are in no need of a jester. Uh, of a jester. 
So, perhaps another time. A trader uncovered. One of my guards approaches with my granddaughter Christine in chains trailing behind him. I have caught Christine here in the process of sending sensitive information to foreign spies in England. What shall we do with her? Wonder and our granddaughter Christine, who is Danish. Ah, maybe like mother, like daughter. Hopefully not though. Okay. Oh, from her father, that's right. That's right, okay. Damn, off with her head. Because we are just and diligent. I forgive once, but do not betray me again. But he's just. Hmm. Okay, we'll go with I forgive once. My business here is done. Let us go out of here. And we can continue to increase our men at arms. They're 32 now. They're almost. They're at 70 damage. Excellent. Took a big hit on the monthly income, but I think that'll adjust as time goes on. Ooh, look at that. She's giving away sensitive information, and now someone wants to kill her. We must stop the villain behind this. We shall set 11 days. After this is finished, we will set him to disrupting schemes. Okay, nice. We got a secret. Disrupt schemes. Familial reputation. Okay, the scheme has been discovered. Our spy master has caught this lady plotting against our knight. Castile. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, okay. So, disrupting schemes. Let's go to intrigues. Right here. Count John's lover. Okay, we can go ahead and get some money off of her, I believe. We will take some stress. We'll see. Alright, 80% attempted murder. It's almost certainly someone else's child. I think one would be f okay for now. Earl, grandson, nephew, granddaughter. Okay. Inspiration. Bertrand von Dolin has the book Inspiration. He wants to write about stewardship. His skill is legendary and renowned throughout the world. Pay to employ him as our courtier. Sponsor him to start a project that will lead us to gaining an artifact. 113. And excellent. Book Inspirations are based on learning. He is good learning. Let's go ahead and sponsor this. Alright. Total gold invested. Okay, so about a year. We shall see what happens there. Okay, we have a couple more months, 15 days before that, before fortifying our castle even more with a fort level 9 after this construction project is completed. A mighty fortress indeed. Let's check Francis castle, 10. 10 is, is a mighty fortress as well. England with a 4. And Wales with a four. Okay. The walls and towers has been completed. We can get some more gold plus two. And more development growth. We could also reinforce it again. I think we'll go with the trade port. Let's go with the trade port. 200. And then after this, we will stop as he's getting much older. And surely may pass soon. So we will need a treasury. 135. He is one year away. It's December 7th. Okay. So at the end of this year. He will become of age. Hopefully he gets at least three. And we have to sway. We won't sway our spy master. Inspiration stewardship topics. I find my beneficiary. Bertrand. Surrounded by scrolls and manuscript, furiously flipping through pages. My lord, there are so many areas of stewardship that are worthy of attention. Laws, trade, money, I don't even know where to start. Focus on matters relating to ruling the realm. He focuses writing on topics such as law and administration. I'm interested in development. He will focus on topics such as building and taxation. Uh, what topic does your muse yearn for? He will freely decide and it'll be a higher quality we'll go with the higher quality 
and let him go with what he feels inspired to write about. Okay, so we need to sway a new vassal. Let's go back to our brother. Alright, perfect. Alright, so it's already been constructed and we shall let our treasury build. We're back to 18. The evil fiend. Okay, this person is plotting against our granddaughter. So we shall... Oh, we cannot blackmail him. Okay, so we shall let it build. Our army, our heavy infantry is doing great. We do want to max them out as they are our most powerful unit. And we have their counterpart maxed out as well. Okay, excellent. Let's see how this capital is doing. Okay, she is investing, getting more tax. Um, I have arrived to pay homage to you. Show our marshal Count Gisla in as once. Homage mortified. I wait patiently on my throne for the arrival of Countess Gisla, who was soon announced and ushered before me. She kneels in deference, offering nothing but her oath to faithfully serve as a vassal of the kingdom. As Countess Gisla stands, she stumbles awkwardly. The court gasps in unison as she falls, ending sprawled at my feet, cheeks flustered with embarrassment. We'll go, your oaths are all that matters. She's traveling back. Ooh. She's also infirm. She is an excellent marshal. Do we need anything here? Nine months. Let us go with that. Okay, five more months. Okay, so we're almost at development level 19. How much would it be to build a new castle? 280. This is mighty tempting because this is the cheapest it's going to be. I think we will do that. I think we are going to do that. 162. Let us go ahead and do that. Isolate him and pray for redemption. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna let it build. Because that's gonna take nearly two years. Okay, 61. To the sensible High King Richard of Ireland, with your permission, I'd like to betroth your granddaughter, the modest Anlith Brian. He is the other ruler in spain and i do not think we will do that decline our court position physician has passed so let us go ahead and hire another one court physician average he's good we'll go with this one he'll develop quite nicely okay he's an outstanding commander Inspiration and name to remember. My beneficiary, Burchard, approaches me with a thoughtful expression. Is there anyone special to you, my lord? He must have read my irritation at such a personal question from my face because he continues. I mean, is there anyone you wish to dedicate your commissioned artifact to? It is turning out well, but a meaningful inscription would make it feel more personal. Okay. We're almost at that 4,000 prestige to unlock some new traditions. So let's go with that one. Finally, we are safe from smallpox. She, he recovered. Excellent. This is the person who's trying to murder our daughter, I believe. Invite knights. This would be excellent to have just to bolster the army for our grandson. Hybrid culture formed. Solace and script, the latest work of my wife, wife, High Queen Gwendolyn, has become all the rage at the court of late. Gwendolyn, I can truly see this is heartfelt. But we don't have enough treasury to hire knights. Okay, and how much does our grandson have? 154, so it would be a total of less than 300. Okay, this is where we're going to end the episode. King Richard III is preparing the succession of the throne. Investing further into the kingdom. Developing the duchy building to boost up his heavy infantry which is going to be the strength of his army with doing massive 70 damage Ooh, our ward a grandson duke ricer has become of age and it is time he left my care even as a child ricer has always had a way with words it is therefore unsurprising that he has taken well to the study of diplomatic relations a true silver tongue he could sway the opinion of counts and kings alike when he speaks the court listens in enraptured silence until we meet again. Excellent. He got gray eminence. He got four. Okay. Excellent. So King Richard putting all of his treasury into developing the capital of his kingdom. 
to prepare for any possible future rebellions, boosting this fort level and developing and increasing the strength of his army. That is it for this episode, as our grandson has just become of age, so no regent will be necessary once he takes the throne. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.